Hello there, I am Nev, I am a dev, and today is the second video of the Drizzle ORM kind of setup video. And yeah, today I want to show you how to create data and put this data into the database. And I want to show you how uh, to query the database. And so yeah, let's just get right started. Uh, we are in our project right here, which we created last time. We can run npm run dev. And uh, what we want to do is go to routes and delete all of that. Uh, I think a pretty cool way to yeah show how to uh, do uh, to query the database is to first off create some data into the database. And whoops, no, I want to do that. And for that, we're gonna run npm run studio so that we get this link for Drizzle Studio. Yeah, so here we go. We got our table users and just let's just add a record with a one and username is gonna be Neville Brim. And that one is gonna be true. And then we can also add um, two user and he's going to receive false. So now uh, what we can do is we can create a plus page dot server the ts file. Uh, we can close that theoretically and in here we can create a load function which uh, we we'll, can do with that one and then just import page server load and we of course need to import that from uh, the auto generated types and yeah, so in this, um, we are going to do const users equals db, which we can import dot query dot users table dot find many. And then we can put some arguments in here like uh, sort, I don't know, order by, and then ascending, I think. No, it's actually um, ascending post table. No, user table in this case. Um, dot create a dot id, and then we can just return the users. We gotta first create a script and set the language to ts. Lang is ts, and then we can export let whoops export let data, and this is equal to page data, and then we can do const users is equals to data dot users, and then we can console the log users, and if we now reload. we see that one because we need to await. Yep. Now we can see all these users right here. Let's do it just, just each users as user. And then in here, we're going to go with uh, a little div h1 and Put ahead user dot username and then in the p tag we're gonna do user dot admin let's uh, do that username and uh, id um, user dot id and now we should get that one. Nice. That looks already. That already looks uh, pretty cool. And yeah, what we basically also can do is now create a form. And we're gonna do a form method is gonna be post. And we want to use enhance. And then. We got our form data, uh, our form right here, and we want to get some inputs. Inputs. Uh, the first type is gonna be type of text, and then this it's gonna be um, name is gonna be uh, username. Then we're gonna go with a select, 
uh, which his name is going to be admin. We don't need an ID for that yet. Then uh, option is going to be value of true and value, oops, false, true and false, like that. And that is basically what we want to go and do. And then we're going to go with button uh, add user. And we don't need use enhance actually. Um, let's just go get rid of that. So then we will go ahead and create an action. And the default action is going to be an async asynchronous function. And we're going to destructure the request into uh, the thing into request. And yeah, in here. We can do const data as equals to await request dot form data, and then we can do const username. Username is string, and this is gonna be data dot get username, and admin is gonna be boolean of data.get admin and then to actually insert this okay let's let's do a quick console.log all that one username admin if we now go ahead and add this user we're gonna have asdsda and true this uh, kind of orange tone of the true is signifying that it's not only a string but actually a boolean and yeah, then we can insert this to the database. So we can go ahead, db.insert, and then into users table. Nope, users table, dot values. And in here, we can set the column types to username and admin. Yeah, now we're basically finished. Uh, one little safety check I want to do is go ahead and require this and also this required. So now if we want to add, yeah, nothing's going to happen. Test user. User is not an admin. Add this to the thing and we're going to get a test user. Nice. Yeah, so that was the episode. I hope you could learn something next video we're going to cover relations because i think they're super cool especially in combination with um the drizzle query api i hope you liked it smash the like button hit subscribe and we'll see us in the next video have a great one goodbye